Hey guys, this is the UTG L96 sniper rifle. <clears throat> this gun is uh, pretty powerful. Um, as you can see on the description, it says velocity 350 FPS with 0.25s. Um, I put 0.25s in it. Um, I highly recommend it, or else uh, 0.2s it'll completely drift. But um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside. All right, let's see. You've got your solid plastic body. Um, then separate from the barrel, this is the odd green or OD green um, color body. I like it a lot. Um, personally, I like it better than the black. It's a little different and adds some camo. Um, and then the barrel is your full piece metal barrel, full metal bolt. Um, slides pretty nice. Uh, I'll take that out real quick. And then you've always you've got your speed loader. Um, you've got a strap, you've got uh, your clip, magazine, holds about 28 rounds, and then a pack of BBs. Um, as you can see, it does not come with a bipod or a scope, but um, you can buy those separate. I, um, I got this on airrattle.com. Um, I would not recommend using that site if you're going to buy a gun because most of their guns are... I guess you could see a refurbished, <laughs> um, just taken apart and uh, fixed for any returns from like air splat, whatever. It's basically knockoff um, business of air splat or whatever. So I'd recommend getting it from air splat. Anyways, you've also got your two Allen wrench screws, um, two different sizes. It also comes with a barrel cleaner or jam unjammer um, if BB gets stuck in the barrel um, I've used it like once and I've had this gun for like about a year now so it's really good I like it a lot I'm gonna take the barrel out alright this thing is pretty big I guess it's probably like three feet two, no probably not three two and a half maybe it's my guess two feet long Two and a half feet long, sorry. Um, all full metal. You got your metal rail here for scope mount. Um, safety. It's on and then off. Or sorry, off, on. Um, then you've got your bolt. And with the bolt, um, it's pretty smooth. It sticks sometimes. Um, I need to grease mine up actually a little bit. But um, as you can see... Uh, sorry, hold on. You got a little screw here. Um, that's one of your Allen wrenches. That sometimes will get loose, and uh, the bolt here, um, lever, sometimes will move back and forth. But I have it pretty tight right now. Um, so that part's pretty good. Um, another nice thing, the trigger pull is pretty sensitive, which I like on my sniper. This is safety off. I mean, it's got some spring to it, but there really is no difference between the lock. So, not too much. Anyways, um, let's see. And a bunch of other stuff here. That's where the BB feeds in. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it for the barrel itself. Alright, now moving on to the body of the sniper rifle. It's pretty long. Um, it's about the same size as the barrel, just the end of it will go about here. Um, and then you, your trigger comes right in here. So you got that little hole there that'll go through. Um, the stock's pretty nice. It's pretty... I've You can take this off. This is adjustable. I'll cheek rest. I'll show you that in a sec. Um, you got the two bolts on the side here you can adjust and this moves up and down or you can just take it off this also comes off um, I guess I can show you that later also that's got two bolts you can't see that right there alright uh, somewhere in there anyways those come off there's like three layers one there there and here this is the rubber part the rest is plastic then you've got 
your strap hook here and on the other side also. Same on the front end, on the same opposite. As you probably notice, there's this little hole here. Um, that is for your bipod, quick release bipod um, piece. Um, unfortunately, this sniper rifle does not come with it. Most of them don't. You'll see pictures usually in uh, advertisement on the websites that have it on it. Uh, don't get fooled because they are not included. Um, not quite sure what they're really called, but you can get them on Amazon. Um, like six, seven bucks. Tri rail. It's pretty nice. I've got my bipod on it. Uh, you can put other stuff on it too the flashlight and the laser or whatever. Um, I had to actually change it up a little because this in moves side to side a lot, and if you were to have a laser, it would really stink. And on a bipod, it kind of moves around a lot too. So I had, when you put the barrel on, well, I'll show you just a sec. Um, I put an extra rail in here, plastic rail, so it's nice and firm up against the rail. It doesn't have all that extra space down there to move around up and down or side to side. So anyways, um, I guess check this out on Amazon or whatever. And, uh, let's see. I guess we'll move not much in the speed loader. Um, it's, oh, it's a lot easier than one by one putting it in but uh, that's nice and the clip uh, not too much to it either 28 rounds holds about and then the allen wrenches um, this goes to your stock I'll show you that right now this goes to the gun screwing in the um, the barrel See now, take a look here. And both sides. And then you can move that there. Oops, let's see there. Uh, about the highest you could go is like that high pretty much, or else the screws will go under it. Or you can just completely take it off. So that's a pretty nice feature. Then the stock comes off too, but I'm not going to show you that right now. It's basically the same thing as this. Okay, I'm going to put my bipod on real quick so I can hold this up while I put the barrel on. Because I'm one-handed. Okay, so there you go. Stood up. That goes in an angle. i just make sure it sits in there. You see the trigger go through. And then this sits in out here and then we'll just snap in place and just hold that there and then there's the there's a screw set screw in here and then here and I'm gonna screw those in real quick okay so those are in nice and snug um, yeah, I took the orange tip off that's another thing uh, <clears throat> that it comes with an orange tip I just took it off for looks for now but um, it can come off and on. I'd leave it on if I were you. Um, I'll put it back on in a sec. I'll just... So that's pretty much it there. So now we've got the bolt. That's pretty fun. Um, this I like a lot. It's uh, probably on a scale of 1 to 10 on the intensity of pulling it back. It's probably... If you use your shoulder on the stock, it's probably like a three, maybe, at the most, three or four, probably three. Um, so, it's a pretty long bolt, too. It's pretty nice. This will fall down. That doesn't matter um, if it does. And you just push back in, down, and then you're loaded. So your safety's on right now. Or off, sorry. Now it's on. So, it's not going to shoot. Now it is. Another thing that comes in the box is your manual. Shows you some cool stuff about it. It's features basically. 
and the bill address and your 0.25 BBs got these on air splat for like 12 bucks so that's what your gun looks like put together um, that's all you get in the box um, I'm gonna put my scope and my bipod on it to show you what it looks like scope and bipod In. Oh, anyways, it's really magnified. And I've also got a Red Dot Quick Scope uh, ACOG. It's the Leapers UTG um, 30 by let's see, 9 by 30 non-zoom scope. Um, it's pretty sweet. It's red and green dot. And five settings for each color. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah. It's actually backwards. Huh. Alright, thanks for watching. Please rate.